Yes, they can, Joey. This recipe was written to make a specific categories free, but you could do this differently. You could make the specific category have a different type of discount by just returning a different price. You might have to watch me fumble with math and PHP to do this, but I'll demonstrate this, just making that category free. And then maybe we'll try writing PHP live with people. Or if Jared is still here, he can in the comments be like, Kim, no, and help. <laughs> so let's log back into this demo site and we're going to demonstrate how to make a specific product category free. Let's do that members only category. Let's say uh, instead of allowing members to buy certain products in the members only category only, they're free for them. So all of that logo swag gear, every member can download or purchase any of that stuff. In my demo blog post, I made it downloadable things just because you want to make endless logo clothing free for people. It could add up for you. But you can always write some restrictions on it. Limitless. Okay, so we're going to put a snip in. Just like the other recipes we've edited, this has like a constant or a variable that you set up. So here it was designed for ebooks. We're going to call this members only. Save and oh, I have to give it a title. I keep forgetting. Um, there is a section of this code snippet that you can uncomment and use if you only want this for a specific level ID. So just like our other code snippets that said, are they one, two, or three level? This has code for that too. You just would have to uncomment that code and put it in place. I'm going to keep the snippet just anyone with any membership. Do I still have a membership? All right. Okay, did I not turn it? Oh, our first, oh, I didn't activate it. Okay, we're good. It had to happen, people. These are not always seamless. So now when I go to this members only stuff category, items within this category are set to $0. Not strike through pricing. You'd have to com combine those two different um, tutorials, but let's log out of this account that has membership and it goes back to that full price. So that demonstrates how to do it in a specific product category. I promised I would fumble around with PHP for you all. So let's try making it, let's do like a discount. PHP, so let's see. Discount price equals discount price times 0.8. Does this work, Jared? Are you still here? Let's try this. Sometimes with PHP, I just try something. And then I see what's what. Okay. What product was it that we were on? Okay. It worked. Okay. So now they're discounted from the real price. What did I actually do? I did 0.8. So I did a 20% discount. So they're, yeah, if you wanted to do, I thought I was doing 80% discount. So just math here. If you said, okay, everything in this category is 20% off. Multiply it by 0.8, and then you'll see, again, it's not strike through, but how this product is actually $45, on 20% off, $9, $36, math checks out. So you can do percentage-based discounts. Um, I have a recipe that's even more detailed than this that can adjust like specific prices on variations of things. So definitely all possible, but I hope that demonstrates how to make that category completely free or how to just manipulate prices for products in a certain category with a better discount than that membership level discount would be.